Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Now that I have a hydraulic press instrumented with a pressure gauge to measure how much force is being applied, one accessory I want to build for it is a hardness tester. That should be simple enough. I started by grinding conical points of various angles on some scraps of carbide that I had left over from worn out end mills. Tungsten carbide is difficult to grind, but I found that a masonry wheel on my angle grinder worked reasonably well even though it was still a slow process. Next, I turned some steel shanks for the various indenters on my lathe. I also procured a tungsten carbide ball bearing to use for a Brunel hardness testing point. I then brazed the carbide tips to their steel shanks. Finally, I machined an attachment jig for my hydraulic press that would hold the indenter tip and also hold a dial indicator to measure the depth of indentation. A little bit of final assembly completed my homemade hardness tester. At this point my homemade hardness tester should be functional so it's time to try it out. And for that I've got an old steel file that I ground the teeth off of near the end on both sides, so we've got nice flat surfaces for measuring hardness. Now, this is not a calibrated file, so I don't know exactly what its hardness is supposed to be, but I do know that it is a hardened steel file, and so I would expect its hardness to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 Rockwell C. Uh, so, I've got a 120 degree braille indenter in my hardness testing jig, which is what we would use for a Rockwell C measurement. And I'm going to go ahead and take a measurement on this file and see what we get. Well, it looks like our measurement is 60.6 Rockwell C. Now, for a steel file, that is very believable. So, looks to me like my hardness tester is working. I'm certainly going to play around with it some more, and you may very well see it in future episodes. But until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.